Hello, my name is Martin Shanley. I have a film called Arturo Los Treinta that's showing in Forum. Uh, it's called About 30 in English, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Agosto 2017. Con Majo no hablábamos hace un tiempo. Daba por sentado que sigue dolida porque rechacé ser el padrino de su hija, mi sobrina. En algún punto quería, pero no pude. Recibo un mensaje suyo. Hola, Artur. ¿Cómo andas tanto tiempo? Che, eh, eh, ¿tenés ganas de, del miércoles? de venir a, a ver un ensayo de la obra que estoy haciendo. Posto, dije posto. Perdón. Eh, está re verde, ¿eh? <ríe> ¿eh? ¿Cómo es? Eh, no sé si te conté que la obra... Hi and welcome to the 37th Teddy Award. Uh, my name is Jan Felix Wuttig and today I'm here with director Martin Shanley to talk about his film Arturo a los 30, about 30. Uh, Martin, very pleased to have you here. Very pleased to be here. Thank you <laughs> for having me. <laughs> and thank <laughs> you so much for the film. It's it's a very intense film. It's it's very funny uh, at times, and at at other times it's very well sad. It's it's moving. It's it has very kind of uh, well very intense sort of scenes. Um, now it's it's basically basically um, about Arturo who comes into different situations and always seems to be, you know, not really kind of fitting in, always kind of right. provoking some sort of, um, some sort of fight, some sort of um, commotion. Oh, yes. um, w maybe you could tell us a little bit what, what your idea was when you kind of conceived the film. Well, it was a, such a long time ago that I'm really, I, I struggle to remember the first, like, I, I mean, yes, I, I guess there's, um, it's something to do with, like, this uh, reluctance to, to cross, like, an important threshold regarding age, which is sort of that it's, it picks up on the first film that I did, that it's also sort of dealing with characters that are just not behaving according to their age, maybe, or, or what society expects of someone of a certain age to be, you know. He, yeah, I think he's disappointing uh, people in his life. And I, uh, and I, so I, I, I wanted to, I wanted to, I, I like watching films that, that show pe different kinds of adulthood in a way. So uh, uh, I think it's sort of, yes, it, it, it soothes me like in a way of like feeling not alone. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I also felt that, that the, the film very much succeeded one uh, in, in showing kind of how Arturo doesn't fit in, but also kind of, you know, like like showing all these social standards that we have, you know, yeah. like okay. going going to a wedding and behaving a certain way and talking a certain way and always being under this kind of pressure. Was that yeah. that something you wanted to display, all these those, those kind of social norms that we operate under? I think, like, well, weddings are like a very fertile ground for comedy, I think, because... The, the the fear of things going wrong or awry um, um, are, are everywhere and it's sort of like a very solemn ritual and I think that's people taking things very seriously I find very funny and so uh, uh, yes uh, also like yeah he's meeting a lot of people that he hasn't seen in a while and he and well there's a, like a big like near death experience at the beginning of the film that sort of takes him back in time and, uh, and from that sort of like the film dives into the past and we sort of have get glimpses of like his recent recent uh, past mm -hmm. um, and yeah and I, and, I, and, I, and I feel like it was sort of like a very it was a good setting to for things to to sort of go wrong and and, and yeah mm -hmm. well I, <laughs> I 
kind of also felt that um well you know you have these these time jumps in the film which are very right. kind of kind of separate the film but you you're kind of going back and 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 forth and that's that's kind of very interesting because it's you know it's it throws the viewer into different episodes and sometimes you just kind of exasperating you okay what's happening right now because you just saw a crash and then a different scene happens um what right. what was the idea behind you know like cutting the film in in this order well uh I I needed a, like an excuse to go to the past. That was what because what we showed first was the, the flashback sequences. That's why sometimes people grow, <laughs> and, and and I sort of thought like these um, sort of like uh, yeah the, the first couple of times that we go there's like a kind of like a cliffhanger in a way like people, you don't know if he's going to make it yeah. to like. And and as as the film progresses, the, the the sort of those cliffhangers are not so like life and death, but they start being about like a state of the character when when he gets upset or or like uh, nervous or like or has a a different kind of threat that that is in his life, but it, it is in a in, in another sort of way. And, and like. I used to think like when whenever the character is sort of like upset or like with like his blood pumping, that's when we, that's when he would get out of the present and go to yeah. the past. And I, and that was sort of the main idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, and one of the 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 aspects of Arturo, among many other things, um, is that he just come out of of um, a queer relationship, and um, I, I personally. Found that you know queer romance or, or a queer lifestyle is um, portrayed in a very kind of respectful and sort of non-problematized manner in the film. You know, yeah. so in a way that it's just just normal, <laughs> so to speak, and yeah. just sort of in a in a way that does not um, put put that much you know like weight on the mm -hmm. characters and doesn't you know drag them down in a sense um what was your idea behind um discussing a, a queer romance or a queer lifestyle in the film well i wanted it to be uh, like uh, another aspect of the character but not putting it like front and center like this is the most important thing of, or like well, i don't want I, i didn't want to like victimize him for that i think we uh um, I don't know. As a queer person, I, I, although I do think those kinds of kinds of films were that portray like homophobia or like the, how oppressed we all are, I think it's also refreshing to watch a film where it's just normalized. You know, where it's just another aspect which and as it doesn't change that much, mm -hmm. like the story or the. I think that's nice as well. Yeah. Uh, yes, I don't think we should go to the movies to watch ourselves being victimized all over and over and over. I don't think that's. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I understand the importance of some of those stories, but I don't think that's the only stories that should exist in a way. I don't know. Yeah. I, I feel that it's right that this film has has a lot of strength in in portraying that specifically in, in in different kind of scenes and um actually w one of the the scenes that i found incredibly was was that that scene of the of the theater that scene of the of the stage play um and i just have to add did, did you come up with that whole scene of the whole play did you come up with that yourself or was that Yes, I think so. yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't remember. I, I remember like I wanted to have like I wanted to work with the, the, the actress that acts in the play, and, and I, I just had an experiences of of going to like plays that really like sort of delved into the whole bio drama thing, you know. In a very solemn way, and think I don't know. I, I just I, I just find people taking things too seriously very funny, uh, and I 
and I and I let and I, and I sort of found, I don't know I I remember having the idea of the like the cancer thing and and the dancers and, and it sort of tickled me, so I just went I just went with it. <laughs> yeah, no, but because I found that scene to be incredibly poetic at one point, but also incredibly funny, you know, because it it's yeah. so much mirrors my own experience yeah. when I'm in a theater and I'm just kind of trying to connect to the stage play and <laughs> I just feel like, okay, but well, I want to be respectful, but I also want to, want to laugh really hard. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of <laughs> also where yeah. I, where I found myself in that, in that sense. Um, there's also, I think, um, eight years ago, you made a film called, uh, Juana a los doth doce. Um, and, um, uh, It, it, I think you talked about this earlier a little bit that it also shows a character kind of being sort of out of touch with her own age. Um, right. did, did you feel that about 30 was kind of a continuation about, uh, of, of that theme? In a way, in a way, I sort of came to the real realization that I, I had made the same film twice, <laughs> like <laughs> very like later in the process. Like I suddenly realized that it, that it sort of shared a, a universe in a way. It sort of portrays the same uh, aspect of you know Argentinian society, and and it also deals with someone who is really reluctant to. To have these rites of passage and to cross uh, and crossing this threshold, I, I think Juana was was not behaving according to what adults thought uh, a twelve-year-old should be. I mean, you should be this doing this by now, and she's not, and she's really like consciously not doing it, and and sort of yeah, being a disappointment to 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 her surrounding, yeah, especially adults. And this is sort of, in a way, the same thing. You know, and someone who's not behaving that way, and he, I'm feeling the pressure of not be, not being at, uh, up to par. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think they do do share that in common. I think age has an important, uh, and it's also a glimpse in a moment in their life. It's just one. Um, so yeah, I, I, I realized by when I was about to shoot the last part of this film, sort of, uh, that's when I made the connection and, 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 and type, and put the same title in the, in, because, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. I realized that. Is, is, I mean, you, you're talking about these, these kind of social norms or restrictions. Would you say that there are um, specific, like, Argentinian Uh, restrictions that you talk about, or would you rather say that they are kind of similar in in in, in you know internationality? <laughs> That's I'm, that that I'm very curious about because I don't know. <laughs> I'm Argentinian and I, and I feel things in ways that an Argentinian person would, but I, I'm curious about that. Yeah. Um, but I, what I'm talking about is like, yeah, by 30, you should have like a place to live in and, mm. and a job and a career path or, or something like that. And yeah. when some of those aspects are sort of not there, it becomes like a, you become like a red flag in a way. Yeah. yeah. And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I, I felt that pressure in my life and I sort of haven't seen Uh, that many movies that sort of like uh, have a, like a soothing effect, like where I felt uh, seen. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's sort of what uh, inspired the film in a way, sort of yeah. to show. Yeah. Things that, I, yeah, uh, and to show things that I I don't see in 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 films or like I don't know. Exactly. That sort of thing. Yeah, I also think there are. At one point, there are a lot of films about that kind of transition, you know, from your 20s to your 30s or from people who still live not according yeah. to a certain standards beyond their 30s. But then these movies are also like very cathartic, you know, they, they very much say like, OK, yeah. so now you've met the one. So now you have a job and now you adhere to the standards, whereas your film very refreshingly does not, you know, take that step and just kind of goes like well this is this is also okay this is 
this yeah. is fine it's fine to to be like this yeah yes i think i think there is a growth to the character i think he learns something in the in the film and and, he, and the, the 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 place where he ends up is a it's not like a huge step but it's a little step and i think those steps are important as well and um and he yeah i don't, I don't want to give things away for the for people who haven't seen it but he he sort of go through goes through stuff and i think he learns from that yeah yeah well that's i i won't say at which point in the film it is but at one point in the film there's this very 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 slow zoom out out of out of a balcony you know um right. so not not giving away too much where it is but maybe you could tell us a little bit about what that that zoom kind of signified for you Well, I think he it sort of shows that he's just one of one of the people, and we we stuck with we, we were stuck with him during the whole thing. But there's a, there's other Arturos and there's other people with stories, and like we're not that important, and what what we go through is not that important, but it's important to us, and I think we can all empathize with someone who's going through something. But I don't know. I didn't want to like I, I want to. I'm gonna give something away, but I wanted to end it in a, in a way that, okay, that he's, we're letting him go, and we're contextualizing him in our, yeah, in bigger, yeah. It's just one little part of a city, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's how I felt, and I felt very much, you know, like, um, soothed by the film, you know. It very much kind of calmed me down and and gave me a feeling like okay, this. However, we are we are not alone, you know. And so if that that kind of was the intention, then you you certainly <laughs> succeeded in that. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. That's a lot to hear. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Um, now I think um, some people, especially after watching the film, might might kind of ask um, if there are any other projects for you on the horizon right now are you working on something else well i have a script written that i, I was supposed to be going to do before this one but it sort of works like my countries were like in a really difficult situation economically yeah. <laughs> and like uh, with the money that we had is like half of i don't know i don't want to but yeah we're going through financial stuff but it's But yeah, there's a script written and ready to be shot whenever we can. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, I I wish you all the best with it, and I I very much I keep my fingers crossed that it that it materializes. You know, all um, all the difficulties, uh, notwithstanding, um, and I, I I wish you that you that you kind of cross those thresholds and those obstacles <laughs> thank you very much well um martin i think that's that's it for me uh thank you again so much for for taking the time and for being here and um i uh, wanted to meet you in person yes thank you very much <laughs>